In this hopefully short video, I'll be teaching you how to use a panoramic wallpaper feature in Windows 7. Most people think it's a thing that's only for Windows 8, but it can work in Windows 7. I'll be teaching you that here. Um, it should evenly be discarded through both the screens, but right now I have two different size screens. The right hand is slightly smaller, so it compensates by, for that in the recording software that I have on by moving the right hand screen upwards. So it will look regular on each of your screens side by side. To start off, we'll find the theme. Um, to do this, I'll click on Chrome, whatever browser you have, go into that, and we'll search panoramic desktop wallpaper for Windows 7, or just any desktop panoramic wallpaper. I'll go to images, just find one quickly that I like. Um, this one's kind of cool. We'll select that, save it onto the desktop by just dragging it over, and then I will close. We don't need that anymore. You can search for more if you want, that's okay. The next, we'll go on control panel. We'll go to appearance and personalization, change desktop background. These are some panoramic themes I have right now and that's scrolling through all of them. I'll teach you how to do that in a second. But I will, to find the one that you have saved, just so it'll be like this, it'll be empty for yours probably. You'll click browse. Then you will go to wherever you have it. Usually it'll be in your pictures folder, wherever you have it. Right now, since we pop into our desktop, we'll, it'll be on our desktop. So we'll click desktop and it'll have this. So we'll click on that. And so far that's what we're gonna be at. And just to make sure it's panoramic right now, it'll be in fill. So it'll be nice and squished on your computer like that. It'll be squished in from left to right. And that's not how we want it. We have panoramic over two monitors. So to do that, we will click tile. And instead of tiling it many times, like you can see in this picture, it'll be tiled once on your primary display and then on your secondary display. This can work using three monitors too, from what I have found, but this is, most people don't use three monitors. So I will click, save changes and then it's done. Um, also, if you wanna do what I had before, where it rotates through uh, many different types of desktop backgrounds, I had about seven, you'll go to where you have, you'll save all of the pictures you want in one place. I have that saved in my, my downloads, in my panoramic waves. And I have all them and then they're not, they're not selected right now. So I'll just click select all. They're all selected. And again, it is in tile and it, you can set it so it switches every 30 minutes or so or whenever you can click shuffle um, and then you can use it to save power or whatever. It, there's lots of options you can choose and these are all straightforwards all over here. Um, I'll save the changes again. And once you follow all those steps, you should have a panoramic wallpaper in Windows 7.